Hey there guys, it's BaseGamer313 here with the continuation of the Hatsune Miku Project Diva X Let's Play. And finally, here at the finale, we are going to be analyzing the lyrics and... I guess take my, all my thoughts as to what I think about each individual song. So yeah, this has been a long way over. I could finally review each individual song, see what they had to offer, and tell you my absolute full opinion on all of them. So this should be cool. It'll be interesting, and I await to read the lyrics, I guess. Thankfully, there's actually English translations on most of these, I believe. At least, I, I hope so, for the most part. Singing with others has been even better than just my own. It's just so much more impactful. I hope I have many opportunities to sing with everyone. Alright. So. Oh my god, what the hell's going on in the background? Sorry if you guys could hear that. Uh, I, I tell them to shut up, but it's like it seems like no one's listening. <laughs> Anyways, so. Uh, actually, before we do anything, we should probably just go over the uh, the copyrighted ones first, just to get them out of the way. So, even if Kunorchi needs love and Raspberry Monsters will be the first two I, I immediately do, because I don't want to deal with the editing, uh, the edits of, of uh, well, yeah, just editing the video so that it compiles to YouTube copyright laws or whatever. So, I'm just gonna do those two and review them both individually at the same time for this one video. So, prepare to hear squeakiness for Kunoichi Love once more. One more time, at least. Uh, is there a pause button? Yes, there's a pause button. Okay, so... Maybe that could help a little bit. If I pause it from time to time, then maybe I could, like, actually, um... Bypass the copyright thing? Let's see. Alright. So, even a Kunoichi needs love. Uh, something I will uh, compliment about the song immediately, it definitely has a lot of energy. Like, listening to it right now, you just really feel pr pretty pumped, despite this being kind of like a little bit of a love song. Alright, here we go. Oh, come on, really? The lyrics are cutting- Ah. Oh. Okay, hold on, wait a minute. If, wait, did, did I fix- because, uh. Okay, maybe I'm gonna have to like look it through uh, on the Elgato screen itself, because the lyrics are cutting out for my- point of view. Like, you guys can see it, but for me, I can't, so... I really need... Okay, actually, hold on. Wait a minute. Oops, wrong button. God damn it. Uh, how do I get out of here? Options, okay. Uh, sensitivity, transformation, buttons, music, no, that's not it. It's... Okay, sorry about this technical difficulty, but I can't really fully, uh, review the song if I can't read the damn lyrics and I can't read the damn lyrics if the lyrics are not showing up or at least halfway showing up on the bottom of the screen god that really sucks but okay game options uh vocal and failing display calibration timing none of these are what I need exactly simple timing calibration no I don't need that tutorial I don't need that credits I don't need is there really no option for that or is it in the PlayStation menu itself? Sound and screen. Area screen, okay. Alright. So... For me to fit, it's gonna have to be around... Here, so you guys might be seeing some black bars. I think you guys could deal with it. Hopefully. Do I have to like. God damn it, really? Do I have to like close this uh, application in order for the black bars to not. Because this is really annoying me. Like before, I was like, okay, I'm fine with it because it didn't really disrupt my gameplay whatsoever, but now it's like disrupting my lyrics reading. So I was like, I can't read the entire lyrics if half of them are just gone. Like, from what my from more from my point of view, the lyrics are like it's showing, but you can only see like the top part of the each like sentence. You can't see the bottom part. So like I could probably like decipher it from there, but like I can't read it fully because like I guess certain uh, certain letters are only on the bottom section. And I, it's really bothering me. I need to fix that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but Jesus Christ. If that doesn't work, then maybe I have to like. Because right now, also the X and uh, circle buttons are also like... B 
being uh, dis uh, being uh, a little bit uncooperative as well. I'm not gonna, by the way, uh, for each song, I'm not gonna uh, spe specify which costumes that they belong to because I, for, for one most, first most, eh, I uh, have not unlocked all the costumes, and secondly, I don't know the uh, exact costumes to the exact areas. Okay, it looks like it's fine so far. Let's see here. Okay, I think this is better. You guys might be seeing black bars, but like, oops. But it's better on my screen right now because I'm able to see like the X and circle buttons properly. Now, just to be safe, I want to see the actual game as well to see if the lyrics are actually visible. Hopefully that's the case. Sorry about that. Here we go once again with a review of Even a Kunoichi Needs Love by Mikoto, oh, sorry, Mikito P. Alright. Okay, the beginning bit with the ooh, it's like a good build up I guess though, but it's, I don't know, it feels a little bit too cute for a build up. Uh, a basic simple chorus structure or verse structure, intro to verse, alright. Oh, I thank god, holy shit, I can actually read the lyrics now. Fucking hell, alright. Cutting class at the dojo, bye bye. <laughs> uh, okay. This, this woman's thirsty. I'm a new Kunorchi, only 15. Haven't learned a thing from my master taught me. <laughs> this is reminding me of like Ibuki from Street Fighter. Yeah, and mother told me. To be a kunochi, to have to give up on- wait, you have to give up on being a girl. <laughs> uh, that is, uh, true. So I'm guessing this is like the the story of the point of view of this one kunochi, uh, which if you guys don't know what kunochi is, it's a female ninja. Ninjas are not supposed to have, like, emotions whatsoever, they're supposed to be, like, assassins, essentially. Like, by to by, be to the basics, do your job properly, or you're fired, or whatever. So, like, they're strict, and they're, like, very cooperative. They're not like emotional whatsoever, and they don't have allies unless their mission grants them allies. Uh, what's with the button? circle? When I was young, that was fine, no problem. But then I saw a pretty boy at the festival. A bright red fruit burst open in front of me. Wait, bright red fruit, is that? Is that, like, a metaphor for cherry popping? <laughs> I mean, I guess you could also say strawberries, but bright red fruit burst open in front of me. Unless you're talking about, like, adorable cheeks. Like, in her blush, a rose was born. Orally, orally. Uh, okay, um, probably need to do a little bit more decisive, uh, uh, wording on that. Am I not just getting it? You can love, you can want, no, no, no. Forget that, let me be free. <laughs> don't do that, don't do this, blah, blah, blah. I can't stand your rules. How can I let you know how I feel? I was watching you through a hole in the ceiling. Secret, secret, maybe I can keep it. Even Kunorchi need love. I like how, by the way, I like how, like, even on the English lyrics, they actually rhyme, too. Like, they're rhyming in both Japanese and English at the same time, which is really... Really cool in my opinion. So that's that's definitely a good plus. Uh, oh, there's a nice guitar solo here. It's very smooth, very nice look sounding. <laughs> very like. I, by the way, the genre, but uh, I wouldn't classify. I, I kind of like classify more of this like rockabilly, but at the same time, like the lyrics seem like very pop tunish. So like this pop combination, pop lyrics combining with like kind of like rock and roll style, like reminds me of so much. Of, uh, what was that? It was also like a Rin and Miku song that had to do with like, like the, uh, the beach setting or something. It was like, dun 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 I probably got the pitch incorrectly completely. But it was like, it was it was something like that. It was like sunset something. Dun 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 It was something like that. Like, I, I, I can, it kind of reminds me of like that kind of tone of the music, and I love that music as well. So like songs that remind me of like other good Miku songs also get a plus for me. Uh, this is interesting how like they changed the shift in tone for like it was written on a secret note one day. I tremble at the words inside. My next target is him. Why? How? I'm in a panic. 
I never had to uh, make a choice like this. There's no hesitation or mercy in killing. Daddy, mommy, I finally found what I was meant to do. Alright. This is the rebellious moment of this Kenorchi. can love, you can want, no, no, no. Those are rules I live by. Don't do that, don't do this, blah, blah, blah. I can't stand your rules. So it's back to the chorus like it's again. Time you come to another line, light of the full moon. I spin the wall around right in front of you. My heart inside this hidden blade. Even cool nor cheese need love. I want to love, I want to love. Hey, I'm a Kunochi, I can do this. Hmm. Alright, so... It's kind of like too vague of an explanation as to what that last, uh, I guess, verse into transition to the chorus and titles. It was a little bit too too vague for me. Like it didn't like specify what was going on. I know sometimes it didn't need to be, but like it was too vague for me, and I can't like. It's not enough hints to conclude a story. So like the ending is a little bit of a like not really of a cliffhanger if there's like no cliffhanger to begin with. It's kind of like that, if you guys know what I'm saying. So I was like, I'm gonna have to dock a little bit of points, but I like that. I like the song. It has a, a very energetic beat, and it does what it does. It's a, it's a song about a person raised to like never love, never show any emotion, and then all of a sudden there's this hot chick. Sorry, sorry. This hot boy that's a, uh, in the eye line sight of this one Kunoichi, and yeah, it's just makes makes her more irrational it's like okay so the ending it could like signify like I guess her coming to grips to like finally like rebelling to the uh, the establishment <laughs> and uh, basically just saying go after that boy I want my love I want him to be with me and yeah so I'd say um, if I'm gonna make this a, a three-way rating uh, I'm, this is gonna be the same thing as my review show, which, uh, chances are it's not even out yet. But, like, I'm gonna give this either a green light, which means it's a very good go, a yellow light, which means be cautious about the song, or a red light, which means stop, avoid it at all costs. So I'm gonna give this a green light. If, if I want to be really honest, it's kind of like in the middle between green light and yellow light, but I think, uh, this, this, this song deserves a green light. And... Yeah, the song sounds good. Lyric-wise, it does its job. Like, it's not anything too spectacular, but, like, it's a good song, so I can appreciate for it to be that. Next up, Raspberry Monster. Oh, shit, no, I don't want to play the song. I want to just watch it. <laughs> Whoopsies. <laughs> Saving, even though I didn't do anything much about it. All right. Hmm. I got my water, just in case I need to talk a lot. Yeah, I talk a lot. I really need to work on my mouth movement and my diction. My alliteration needs to be pitch perfect. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay, sorry about that. I just needed to like really like work on my mouth movements and my tongue so that I could speak proper English. I know some of you say like uh, I already speak proper English already, but like there's some moments where I feel like oh I could do a lot better than that. Like you could sense a little bit of Asianese there. Alright, let's do this. Oh, hold on. Okay, three, two, one, on my count, stick out your tongue. Is this with a raspberry? Okay. Alrighty, I'm a little bit intrigued, but a little bit conf uh, very confused at the same time. Alright, Raspberry Monster. Lyrics by Gom and Shito. Music by Gom. And arrangement by Honeyworks. Stick that middle fig! What the fuck? They got away with that in a T-Rick? <laughs> what? She's not sticking the middle finger yet. What the fuck they <laughs> I like, are you allowed to get away with the- I know like in T-Ray games you're not allowed to see the F-bomb, but like, is the middle finger like, are they perfectly okay with that? I mean, I feel, I feel like that, like, I don't know. I don't want this, this song to be censored, so like, I wanted the full translation to be like, as proper to the Japanese as much as possible. So... <laughs> That's just like caught me that sorry that just caught me off guard. I'm not saying anything about that. It's just like it's surprising to see like a middle finger 
Actually, no, to be fair, though, there was, like, a middle finger that, like, appeared in uh, one of the T-Ray video games. I think it's actually, actually, it might be E10, but I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. Um, if you guys know Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, the video game, then there was, like, this one of the boyfriends that flat out stick the middle finger. And I think it's okay to get away with that, but, like, again, it's, like, it's just, it, sorry, it just caught me off guard. All right. Spit out that spent raspberry gum. All right. By love, I. Okay, so it's basically saying, by love. If it's talking about the boyfriend, it's basically saying, fuck you, I'm out. I'm a strong, independent woman. Wake up your alarm clock. Rock out at max volume. The real world. Sweating stunned by the gap. PM6, okay. The usual gum is all sold out, and you're all out of cell range, why? The real world, cut it with the expectation. I'm no good with eye contract? Contact? With eye contact? I want to hide. Okay, what does the eye contact mean? Does that mean like glasses or like contact lens? Like, I'm no good with eye contact? Okay, uh, let me, okay, let me just make my, uh, uh, what, what should I say? Make my, uh, thoughts more clearly first. Okay, so... This song is also, like, I guess, like, another fuck the establishment type of song, except this time it's, like, saying fuck the world rather than fuck my parents for not letting me have my boyfriend. This could be talking about a boyfriend as well, because it says by love, so I'm assuming that it's at least someone that's, like, close to Miku. Which way is reality? I don't care. Okay, so that's where the glasses, like, counterpart leads to me. He's, like... Blinded by the lens, you don't know which one's real, which one's not. Leave your body behind. Matrix. <laughs> I don't know why that came up into my mind, though, but it's a little bit like that. It's like, like, it's like, we want to live in this, like, fake utopia instead of living in this real world. So it's kind of like the opposite of Ain't It Fun by Paramore, where I was like, like, living in the real world, you're gonna have to accept it and just make the best of it. This one's like, fuck the real world, I want my own utopia. Make your virtual drive with me. Take a virtual drive with me. Raspberry Monster. Matsuta. Perfect. That's that's perfect katakana there. Red, proud, and the only one taking a stand. Matsume, what? There's no one who can stop you. Yeah. This is a very rebellious teenage age kind of song. I like it. Reminds me of like all the uh, music I listened to as a teenager. This song definitely feels like it's getting a go for me too. Since when have you been like this? Okay, one thing I really had to like critique, and this is more mostly for the game itself, is the fact that they don't give me the full version. Like, I really don't like that. I like to listen to what the full version has to entail, but like. Like, Miku, like, Project Diva games, for some reason, just, like, shorten the song for, like, and I really don't like that. Uh. Even your smile is awkward. At least, like, an option to, like, have the song in its full glory would be nice. It'll also make, like, perfecting a song a shit ton more difficult, but, like, I'll, I would be glad to have that challenge. Your smile is awkward. You are me, you're all mine. Please help me quick. Okay, she's just saying, oh, oh, oh. I guess it's uh, Okay, so. I guess this is like her beckoning call. I'm ready to go. I'm spinning my wheels. Do I have any allies? I don't know. I want to get closer to that little red girl? Oh, so, like, I guess, like, little girl, as in, like, maybe little red riding her. She wants to go into, like, this fantasy world. My guess, at least. Get it on. Offense is the best defense. So why is everyone running? There's no one who can stop me. Okay, so like, I guess she's like one of a kind where like she wants to rebel, but like everyone else around her is like, no, this is the real world, you had to accept it. So I guess this is like her grips of like, realizing that, but at the same time, denying that type of existence as well. 
So she's still ignorant to the real world, but... Yeah, she's still ignorant to the real world. I, I guess I have nothing else to say. Um, yeah, that was a fun song. I like that. I like that one. Raspberry Monster gets a good green light for me. So there's that. Um, it's been 20 minutes, so I think that's a good way to take a quick break. We'll be right back with the next episode, and now we're going to go into an orderly fashion. Stay tuned for the next episode of Hatsune Miku Project Diva X. Ah. <sighs> 